Hello, my name is Mark Cruz here at CJ Skateboard Park in school in Toronto, Ontario. And I'm really excited to show you Nikon's newest flagship camera, the D5. In this video, I'll be talking about the still photography improvements, but if you're interested in knowing about the video specs or hearing an in-depth overview on the new AF and metering system, make sure to check out those videos afterwards. Now, let's start with the D5's image quality. It has a newly designed 20 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor that offers even higher resolution than the D4S while providing even better low light capabilities thanks to the new Xspeed 5 processor. The D5 has a native ISO range of 100 to 102,400 ISO <laughs> with the ability to use up to high five on the ISO range, which means an incredible 3.2 million ISO is possible. Never before has a camera given you as much freedom to raise your shutter speed in low light situations or have complete depth of field control as the D5. Even with a higher resolution, you can see how the D5 provides incredibly clean shots at ISO levels that people never would have considered even a few years ago. The D5 has a completely redesigned autofocus system now with 153 high density autofocus points along with an increased coverage area of 30% over the D4S. This AF system is designed specifically for ease of use and to provide better tracking capability over the already impressive D4S. Of the 153 AF points, 55 of them are selectable with the other 98 points being utilized for continuous AF to ensure there are no dead spaces in between the AF points and also so that even small objects are seamlessly tracked. Not only has the number of AF points increased, but so has the number of cross type sensors. As you can see, of the 153 points, 99 of them are cross type, with many of them now on the peripheral areas and not just the center three columns. To go along with the increased speed of the AF system, the D5 can now shoot faster as well. The D5 is capable of shooting at 12 frames per second with full autofocus. Even when shooting raw, you have a buffer of 200 continuous shots in a single burst. The D5 is capable of shooting now up to 14 frames per second with exposure and focus locked. But even here, you don't have any limitations. You're able to shoot JPEG, RAW, or record RAW and JPEG simultaneously. If even faster shooting speed is required, silent shooting while in live view is available at 15 or 30 frames per second at a resolution of 5 megapixels. As its name implies, when shooting in this mode, it is completely silent, perfect for golf tournaments, for example, when no photos can be taken during a player's backswing. Let's look at an area that hasn't changed much over the last couple of generations of pro DSLRs, and that's the LCD screen. The new D5 has almost tripled the screen resolution, now at 2.3 million dots. This will give the photographer even more confidence at fine focus adjustments or focus confirmation. A much bigger change is the fact that the D5's LCD is now touch sensitive. This has been employed specifically to help with workflow speed in playback. You can now double tap to zoom in, swipe the image to the left or right, or pinch to zoom in or out. There's also an exciting high speed advanced feature that allows the bottom of the LCD screen to quickly scrub between shots. The speed you move along the LCD screen dictates how fast the images are advanced, with each image being shown instantly with no lag. If you commonly change the copyright or IPTC information, inputting of that info can now be done quickly using the touch screen. Now let's take a look at the ergonomics of the D5 next, as there have been many changes since the D4S. The side of the camera shows that the D5 is now USB 3 compatible, allowing 10 times faster transfer speed than the D4S. Next, in addition to the preview and function buttons, there's now a second function button to allow even greater customization than before. These buttons have an alternating convex and concave mold to differentiate it from the neighboring buttons. The top of the camera will show one of the bigger ergonomic enhancements. The mode button, which is usually found next to the shutter release, has been moved to the left of the camera and in its place is now an ISO button. This means that changing the ISO can be done without moving your hand position at all, increasing efficiency when shooting. 
If you really miss where the mode button used to be, you can actually reassign it to the movie record button and have the best of both worlds. The back of the camera has had some changes made to it as well. There's a new third function button that can activate the network settings, record a sound clip, or use the new star rating system in playback. The info button has been moved to the audio annotation button position and the dual memory card slots are now available either as a dual compact flash card option or a dual XQD option. XQD cards are a huge benefit to photographers or videographers who need robust cards with the fastest possible read and write speeds. Without pins, the XQD cards don't run the risk of damaging your camera and with 4K recording becoming more and more prevalent, Downloading an XQD card to a computer compared with the fastest CF card is done in less than half the time. Make sure to check out our other two videos on the new D5, one on its video capabilities and the other on its new autofocusing and metering systems.